In this video, we are going to learn all about tessellations. A tessellation is a tiling over a plane, and specifically, it consists of one or more shapes that has been repeated again and again and again to fill up the plane so that there are no gaps. So for example, this one right here is a tessellation, and part of the reason it's a tessellation is because we have this one little bird shape that's been repeated again and again, and notice how they fit together exactly perfectly with no gaps at all. So in this part right here where four different birds have sort of come together, there's not one gap. So that's what makes, that's what makes this a tessellation as opposed to just some drawing. This next one is also a tessellation. We notice we have this one shape, the red and yellow, which has been rotated or flipped in order to create the overall shape, but it's still this one congruent shape that's been repeated again and again and again. So one of the most famous sources for tessellations was the artist M.C. Escher. So if you're interested in tessellations, you should definitely check him out. Right now we're going to go into paint to see how you can make your own tessellation uh, pretty easily. And paint is a computer program that's on most computers. It comes with the computer. Okay, so in Paint, the first thing you want to do is make sure that this lower button right here is selected throughout this whole process. Then you're going to make a rectangle, so select the rectangle uh, button and make a rectangle that's a decent sized rectangle, not too small, not too big. And then pick a color that you want to fill the rectangle with and push the little paint can to fill it in. Now what we're going to do is change this rectangle into a more interesting shape so that we're not just repeating a rectangle over and over again. So the way you're going to do that is select the freeform button with the dotted lines and go to the left side of your shape and sort of cut out some interesting shape. And then it will look like this and what we're going to do is drag that cut out part to the other side and so that it matches up exactly. Now we're going to do the same thing except on the top and have it match into the bottom. And here we go. Now at this point this is the shape that we're going to tessellate and you could color it in more if you want so I'm going to do that a little bit. All right, so I put a little smiley face inside and filled in some of the black lines with the red again. Now what you want to do is go to the normal rectangle tool and select the whole thing. And because we've selected this bottom button here, it will really just be selecting the shape we made and not the white part. Now you just want to copy and paste. And what you should notice is that our shape will fit exactly in with the original we had and that's because of how we made it is we took one piece and pasted it on the other side so that it would fit in exactly like that. So you don't want to fit it in like this because then you can't tell where one ends and the other begins. So you should select another color and highlight your second shape like that and then reselect it and fit it in exactly with the other one. Just like that. Now you can make the process a little easier by selecting the whole thing and copy and pasting it in order to speed it up. And basically at this point you're just going to keep pasting and filling in until you've filled in your whole screen. So here we're partway done. You could keep going, of course, forever. And that's the beauty of tessellations is that they can keep on going forever. So I hope that you will try doing this yourself because it is pretty fun to make up your own little design and colors and see what you can come up with. One thing that you want to consider with tessellations is that in order for a shape to tessellate, the corners of all four or however many it takes shapes must have angles that add up to 360 degrees because that's what a full circle is. So certain regular polygons will tessellate while others won't. So for example, a square tessellates because its angle is 90 degrees, 
and 90 degrees goes into 360, so you can take four squares and mash them up to make a corner and keep repeating it that way. But other shapes have interior angles which don't go into 360 degrees evenly, so they can't tessellate by themselves, and sometimes you need to have combinations of different tessellations in order to make it work.